Hello everybody, welcome back. To make a, a, a quick video, really. I don't have an enormous amount of time on Mondays, but um, I am gonna, um, w when it's finished downloading, I'm gonna uh, add a little, uh, a clip, basically, from my live stream last night. So I do a Patreon uh, membered live stream, basically. We would go, generally spend about two hours looking at pretty much every altcoin that's asked of me. And we, throughout the whole process of doing this last night, we found loads of altcoins basically all simmering the same kind of signal, which is the same signal that Bitcoin generates round here so Bitcoin's like a week ahead of all the other coins really doing the same thing on the four hourly chart uh, but a week ahead so we've got the conversion baseline cross we've got the cheeky span outside price action we were surfing above the cloud which is all green which is a, a signal in itself to suggest we're gonna have a big move up now this is a four hourly signal generated around well it was generated around here it's 26 periods after this cheeky span broke out so the signal was created uh, here on one of these candles basically then obviously we dumped down and then we pumped straight back out so this wasn't a cancelled signal because we broke down it's a risk to reward you think about let's just say we bought the top of that wick we came down to the tune of six and a half percent but then we pumped I suppose from the entry point to a, to a 10% so the risk to reward is still fine this isn't a continuation of um, signal here but then we got one of these the other day that we that we recognize so we now we've got a second indicator to suggest a continuation up anyway <clears throat> this isn't so much about bitcoin bitcoin is 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 basically going to be testing in at this stage now horizontals on the way up uh, and so the next major one and again there's ones in in between we could think about this breakdown area of 43,300 but the main the main one where I'd expect at this stage a major rejection is 46,000 but uh, what I was saying about these altcoins again I've just got a few of them up here just the, the, I mean this is nothing in comparison to what we were looking at we, we generally look at you know dozens potentially on a, a twice a week on the, on the Patreon member stream but the the XRP one surprised me even when I was looking at it. I was thinking uh, we looked at it li literally just last night and I was thinking well actually for XRP this is like a quite good signal and once I've finished downloading my own video from from YouTube I'll, I'll add the little clip about it and um, just to give you a little insight of what it is that we do on Wednesdays and Saturdays and um, uh, last night was a Sunday though but uh, yeah, what, a little insight into what we what we look at and I was a little bit surprised to see it but uh, we we did have a very strong signal this is a continuation of a uh, move from back down here 60 to 61 and um, it was you know it was about 61 to 62 and um, sense that would be when we got the signal the signal was generated down here at this price action we've got the cross here so at best you could have opened it at, at this level here and so far that's yielded a 23 percent move and as far as this indicator is concerned it wants to continue this trend uh, on a four hourly by the way so then we have to respect obviously what goes on on a daily and on the daily we're still in this major consolidation but it is, and it has been a fine move, and it's happened quite quickly. So the reason I'm dragging all this up is that, you know, not just to plug my own live stream, because obviously it would be useful to have some more people on the Patreon, but it's more about how all altcoins are generally following the same uh, setups. Some are a little bit behind, some are a little bit in front, and some are basically generating the signals as we speak right now. And if we gen if we if we think about this in terms of how Bitcoin played the signal, and again, you know, it's it's not going to be extremely useful to think. Oh, Bitcoin took X amount of time for this signal to, to play. Bitcoin is a, a much better coin to, uh, or a much better crypto to to trade, basically, because. It's such a large cap coin, it's so heavily traded that it generally does react to indicators much more than, let's just say, small cap coins like Bepro or whatever. Um, I'm not saying that they don't respond, but you, you, you'll have a, a higher hit ratio on something like Bitcoin because it's a heavily traded coin, right? So it took, uh, let's go back to the four hourly, it took about three or four days for that to play out on a four hourly, which is a little longer than you'd normally expect. Um, so as of this moment, yeah, no, it's about, yeah, it's about two and a half days to the, for the initial pump and then the continuation drive started just a few days ago. So it, it took a little while for it to work out, but not an enormous amount of time. It's kind of appropriate uh, time frame really when you're dealing with a four hourly chart. And uh, yesterday, like I say on the on the stream, we said, "Oh, XRP's, you know, it's it's had one decent signal and it's now generated a second signal and it's looking to continue for this, and uh, we should we should monitor its progress." I woke up this morning to see it basically soaring ahead of, of all others, based on a signal that we spotted last night. 
obviously it happened overnight so I didn't get t- a chance to uh, take advantage of that and for the be- for the people who really want to stick to that indicator you would have noticed that I hadn't I haven't looked at XRP but that, that signal was generated between 61 and 62 cents so obviously loving that for anyone who did play that signal then the itchy cloud is, is one of my main uh, tools for entry points you know actual buy signals you know rather than just momentum and trend which is extremely useful for the most part you can get buy signals generated on the itchy cloud it's it's, uh, it's like an amazing indicator and at the moment it does look like on the four hourly these these signals are being generated left right and center and so it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a uh, I wouldn't I don't I'm not going to call it an alt season because <clears throat> I don't think that a four rally can yield those kind of moves but it does look like we're going to have a little alt rally uh, between today tomorrow and it depends on on bitcoin if bitcoin decides it wants to fill that CME gap which it could easily do and that's only down here by the way it's it's not it's not far away it's uh, what's 40,600 which is also where the uh, the 200 exponential is um, on floating around on four hourly I believe and let's just double check that yeah it is it's more or less there so a CME gap filling down there and I would expect that most of these signals that we were looking at on the stream last night uh, for you know I suppose the, the larger cap coins the ones that have got a, a very good setup on them based on again everything that we were looking at last night and these are just a handful of, of you know these are just some of the ones that I just remembered off the top of my head but there were there were a lot more and, and some much better ones Qcoin gems as well so you can see how the, that uh, the, um, things on Qcoin when you get these signals and the alt market the altcoin market is having a little bit of a surge up then uh, some of those were going to absolutely tear it up but it's only going to in my opinion it's, it's likely to be short lived but it's you know you, you could easily get 10 20 30 maybe even 40 percent gains out of some of these moves generated by these signals <clears throat> so i mean overall like i say that i think for for xrp that the move is, is played out for the moment however this is a continuation of a trend signal and we're told to get out of this when the chiku span touches the price action which is obviously either going to be here or take a fair dump for it to touch it around here so it looks like it wants to continue a cme gap would would obviously bring this down for Bitcoin bringing everything down and then you would continue with this trend it would be a buy the dip based on a four hourly I suppose it's the best way to play this but again you know for the best for the people who really made the most of it you enter uh, when the jet when when the signal was generated down here which is exactly where it was what a great indicator by the way uh, absolutely free I don't know why people don't use it more often uh, it's uh, it it, it it can be used on all time frames it's absolutely free it's it's an amazing indicator uh, um, it's something that you can't use all the time it takes time for these signals to generate but as we've recognized last night altcoins generally across the board there's only a few that weren't really showing any of these signals the majority were a good 80 percent of them were showing these signals and it looks like they want to pop they want to either pop and have a tr- uh, have a stab uh, at a four hourly uptrend or they just want to shoot up uh, and hit a major resistance so these will be happening as we speak some will be happening most likely over the next few days the only downside would be when bitcoin decides to fill that cme gap if it wants to that would be and it's only a small drop down from where we are right now and it would be an opportunity to buy essentially a dip four percent four and a half percent drop for bitcoin at this current level you could equate that to an eight to ten percent drop for some of these altcoins <coughs> <clears throat> and if you've got the established signals on those and you're confident of the supports uh, I think it's a buy the buy the buy the dip but remember we're dealing with four hourly charts so this isn't buy the dip and ride it to a new all-time highs that could obviously happen but my overall monologue that I started with last night about how the big drop on the Dixie is likely to cause a larger rate hike in March which should shock the markets and then they will likely recover in a natural way but from a much lower level I think that's very likely so so we have to think about you know the overall picture of economic events and factors that will play out in March and after March so we can enjoy what we're getting right now this is what we generally were saying last night enjoy these little scalp trades don't get too greedy on them um, you know take profit obviously uh, where possible because I think the biggest opportunity is likely to be in March after the first rate, rate hike now I did say previously that you know the, uh, the it is a sell the, you know it's a, like a buy the rumor sell the news kind of vibe so a sell the rumor buy the news and that was you know, and I will still stick to that. I think the majority of the price action for Bitcoin and stocks as, as well, the stocks even more so. The Bitcoin has held up better than a lot of these top tech stocks, which is shocking. Um, 
Uh, I think the majority of them have already you know, felt the, the pressure of the inevitable uh, rate hike in March. Uh, but given the an absolute demolishing uh, move that took place last week for the Dixie, uh, it doesn't bode well for small intermittent rate, uh, rate hikes. I think it's more than likely that they're going to go in for a 50 basis point rate hike and, and that would shock the market some. So it's largely priced in but when that happens and I think it's likely to happen, I think they, they will go heavy on the on the rate hike on the first one in March that will, wherever we move up to, dump the market to wherever it goes and like I say, literally wherever it goes it depends on the shock of the markets overall and that would be a, a very good opportunity to buy that dip blindly um, because it might not recover immediately but things will settle shortly after that that will be the bomb that gets dropped and then you come out of your um, <clears throat> air raid shelter basically once the dust has settled and you pick up some decent stocks and cryptos and that would be my plan and that would be my best advice although obviously I'm not a financial advisor right I'll leave it with you there uh, it was a bit of a higgledy piggledy sketchy kind of video but just to give you the idea that Basically, a little bit of upside uh, for maybe this week with a potential drop down on a CME gap and then a pump, well, not to that extent, but then a, a, a buy the dip for mostly altcoins. Uh, that have these signals that are generated. Like I say, don't don't just look at these three and go, oh, he's talking about these three. There's many, many of them. If you know how to use the itchy clouds, then you can find them yourself. Check the four hourly. There's two ways to play the itchy cloud. Use both because they're both relevant at this point. Some are generating big spikes up. Some are generating small trends forming. Um, so it looks pretty good in the short term. So get ready to buy that CME gap fill. Um, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Don't blame me. <laughs> Right, <coughs> I'll leave it with you there. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Take it easy.